Good morning dear students let us have a look at this question from JE advanced 2020 this question is from the current electricity chapter so let us first analyze the question shown in the figure is a semi circular metallic strip that has thickness t and resistivity rho so we can see a metallic strip semi circular metallic strip here and its thickness is a t and its resistivity is rho its inner radius is r1 and outer radius is r2 so we can see here that its inner radius is r1 and outer radius is r2 inner radius r1 and outer radius r2 if a voltage v0 is applied between its two ends a current i flows in it so we are placing a battery here and we are applying a voltage across this v0 and uh, if we apply voltage v0 current i flows through this strip in addition it is observed that a transverse voltage delta v develops between its inner and outer surfaces so he is saying that there is a voltage delta v which is developed between these two surfaces of the semi circular strip this voltage develops due to purely kinetic effects of moving electrons so due to the kinetic effects of moving electrons in the strip this voltage delta v develops ignore any role of the magnetic field due to the current so what he is saying here is if there is a current here it will produce a magnetic field and the effect of that magnetic field we need to ignore here then okay so figure is schematic and not drawn to scale so the first option he has given is what is the current in this semi circular strip so for the first part we have the potential difference which is applied across this strip and we need to find the current i so if we can find the resistance of this strip then we can find what is the current i as v divided by resistance of this strip now as this conductor is non uniform we need to use the method of integration to find the resistance of this conductor now we are cutting this conductor into many pieces as shown now this end of the pieces are all at the same potential and this end are also in the same potential so we can say all these pieces here are connected in parallel and we can move on to find the effective resistance of this strip so let us consider this piece here okay this one we are considering its radius is r and its width is dr if the resistance of this piece is dr then dr equals to rho l by a so rho is the resistivity l the length of this piece is pi into r and let us see what the area will be the width here this one is dr and the thickness this thickness he has given as t so the area will be t into dr so the resistance dr equal to rho pi r by t into dr now as all these pieces are in parallel we can say integral 1 by dr will give us the 1 by r effective of this metallic strip so 1 by dr equals to t dr divided by rho pi r now let us integrate this so integral 1 by dr equals to integral t dr divided by rho pi r now this r is varying from r1 to r2 okay so i put the limits as from r1 to r2 
So integral 1 by dr is nothing but 1 by r effective equals to t by rho pi is a constant. I am taking it outside. Integral dr by r is ln r. So simplifying this, we get 1 by r effective equals to t by rho pi ln r2 by r1. So basically here we have got the resistance of this metallic strip. So the current is V0 by R effective that is V0 T by rho pi ln R2 by R1. So the first option matches and it is the correct option. Let us move forward to options B and C. The option B is the outer surface is at a higher voltage than the inner surface and option C is the outer surface is at a lower voltage than the inner surface. So if we recall in the question he had said that the potential difference delta V between the inner and the outer surface was due to the kinetic effects of the moving electrons. So if we want the moment of electrons, the moment of electrons is opposite to the direction of current. So this is the direction of current. So the moment of this sphere signifies the direction of current in the strip. So the movement of electron is opposite to the direction of current. We saw that current was moving in this direction. So the electron will be moving in the opposite direction. So the arrow that you are seeing here is the force on this electron so that it is able to move in a circular path. Now this force on the electron is due to the field which is present between the inner and outer surfaces of this strip. So if force on electron is in this direction then the field must be in the opposite direction. If this electron is moving in a circular path then the force on this electron must be radially inwards. So the field at every point must be radially outwards. So this surface, the inner surface will be at a higher potential and the outer surface that you are seeing here will be at a lower potential. So we can say option C, the outer surface is at a lower voltage than the inner surface is the correct option. Let us move on to the last option. In the last option he has given delta V proportional to I square. So we need to find the potential difference between the inner surface and the outer surface of this metallic strip. Now if E is the electric field which is present inside the strip radially outwards, then we can say the potential difference between these two surfaces is delta V equals to minus integral E dr from R1 to R2. Now if we can find what this electric field E is, then we can find out what is delta V. So first what we will do is we will find what is this electric field. So let us consider an electron which is moving like this. So if the electric field at R is capital E, then the force on the electron is E into capital E in the radially inward direction. So we are assuming that at R the electric field is E. So on the electron, the electric field is in the outward direction. So on this electron, the force will be inward and it will be equal to E into capital E. This force E into E helps move the electron in circular path with speed Vd where Vd is drift speed of electron. So because of this force, this electron is able to move in a circular path. So we can write E into E equals to M into Vd square by R. See we are considering this piece here and in this piece let us say the current Di is flowing. And if current Di is flowing and the speed of this electron is Vd, we can say Di equals to N into E into Da into Vd. And this Da here is the cross section area of this part of the strip. Now I can write this Di as V0 by 
dr see this di is the current flowing in this part okay and across this part the potential drop is v not okay across this part the potential drop is v not and the resistance is dr so i can write this current di as v not divided by dr which is rho pi r divided by da and this is equal to n e da into v d now i can cancel da and da on both sides now from this three equations so the first equation is uh, delta v equals to minus integral e dr the second equation is the e e equals to m v d square by r and the third equation is this one so from these three equations we can find out the value of delta v so from 3 i can just take this to one side and i can write vd equals to v not divided by n e rho pi into r now putting this in equation 2 okay so putting this in equation 2 so we are putting the value of vd into equation 2 so we get e into e equals to m by r into vd square so vd is v not by n e rho pi into r so now we have got the value of the electric field now we put the value of e from here into this equation into 1 okay so we can find out what is this delta v so we put the value of e in the first equation and we get delta v equals to minus integral from r1 to r2 m v not square divided by n square e cube pi square into dr by r cube we can see that this whole thing is a constant so we will remove it out of the integral so we have removed this constant out of the integral and we need to integrate from capital r1 to capital r2 so finally we get delta v equals to mv not square by 2 n square e cube pi square into 1 by r2 square minus 1 by r1 square from this equation we can say delta v proportional to v not square we know that this v not is proportional to i so delta v proportional to i square so the option d is also a correct option